This gearbox is able to shift between forward, neutral, and reverse gear. It relies on a set of miter gears in constant mesh, where the top pink gear is the input and the two green gears act as outputs. The free spinning output shaft has a slider, the red component, which can be connected to either of the green output gears to match rotational direction. The slider itself is made of two essential components. The red part slides coaxially on the yellow piece and has pins which interface with the drive gears. The yellow component is fixed to the output shaft and allows rotation to be translated from the red piece into the output shaft. The red component is slid to either side by the green shifting arm, which is controlled by a servo in this case. The parts used in this test will be the design component itself, a wireless receiver powered by a voltage regulator and battery, and a transmitter to issue commands. Initial movement seems smooth, and when binding occurs, there's enough flex in the linkages so that nothing is damaged. The pins and holes are aligned in this test, so once things start rotating, the engagement will not be this smooth. Unlike the animation, I'm going to be providing input from the output shaft, basically running everything backwards. In neutral, things rotate smoothly enough, and once engaged in gear, the friction from the drivetrain can be felt, but it's still smooth enough. Shifting between forward and reverse isn't as smooth as the pre-aligned static test, but it still manages to get into gear without much issue. Overall, this design seems very functional. It would benefit from some design changes, such as a more flexible servo connection that prevents binding, and the use of bearings to cut down the friction on the gears and shafts. Depending on the application, this setup might work well just as it is.